As the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Gary O'Donnell knows all about it. He's an autistic artist who lives in Happy Valley Goose Bay. He takes photos and paints pictures as a form of communication. They're just a couple of things that this talented 20-year-old does. His mother, Janet O'Donnell, says because her son is autistic doesn't mean he's disabled. Our Tara McLean met with them to bring us this story of embracing autism. My name is Janet O'Donnell, and this is my son, Gary. Gary doesn't talk. He doesn't use speech as a way of communicating, but he'll let me know if I'm heading in the right direction. So I'll take my cues from him. Gary's a pretty cool guy, and I, I don't think I'm biased in that opinion. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a lot of interests. He loves to paint and take pictures. Gary's uh, pretty much involved in everything uh, that we do as a family. Well, I'm a social activist, so he uh, attends a lot of rallies and marches, and he's uh, quite comfortable in that atmosphere, and he's uh, gained a sense of community from his personal life. The same thing here at school. He's involved in a lot of uh, activities here at school, and everybody knows Gary, and uh, he delivers newspapers here at the school, and he uh, helps to fill up the water coolers, and he's involved in as much as he wants to be. My experience might be a little different from other families because Gary was adopted and I met him when he was two years old. You know, I fell madly in love with him because of who he was. He was just such a great little kid and I think with a lot of parents, I've heard um, parents say things like, they're autistic but, you know, we love them anyway just the same and that kind of takes me aback when I hear that. But I do understand that my experience is very different from somebody who may have had a different idea of what their family life might look like. And it's very true that living with somebody who is autistic is a different kind of lifestyle. Because Gary doesn't use speech as a way of communicating, we've had to be a little bit creative. And so uh, Gary does use sign. He paints, and uh, it's kind of a free flowing of painting. And he also uses a computer. He's a whiz at the computer. And um, he types um, very detailed messages, which uh, shows me that he knows what's going on in his environment. He knows the things that make him happy, things that upset him, and he's able to communicate those things. It's interesting when Gary gets inspired to paint. He has a real knack for putting colors together. You know, when I say that there's a, it's kind of a free flow of colors, there's still a lot of intention in how he paints. But sometimes the paintings are very dark and sometimes they're very bright. Um, we can tell that he's definitely influenced by the things that are, that are going on around him. Another experience for me that uh, kind of took me aback when we went to see specialists who, in my opinion, wanted me to change who Gary was. They wanted me to change his behaviors so that they looked more normal, what we identify as normal. Even though I couldn't articulate what it was that was making me feel uncomfortable at the time, I knew that I wasn't happy, and he definitely was not happy. And uh, it wasn't until just really in recent years when I've met more autistic adults that I've been able to realize why that was. And it was because it felt to me that it was stifling, and it felt to Gary that it was stifling who he was. It's okay that he likes to rock, and sometimes he flaps his hands, and, uh, you know, sometimes he likes to spin around. And there are times when we would like to do that as a family, <laughs> and, it's, and it's all good, you know. He's uh, Gary Rocks, and we always say Gary, autism rocks, and Gary rocks. And uh, we, we're on our third couch now. We've been through a number of rocking chairs. And he gets little spots uh, where he can get a squeak. If he can, if he can get the squeaks going, then uh, he's got amazing rhythm. So yeah, we've been through a few couches. I never ever wanted him to think that there was anything wrong with who he is. And autism is an integral part of who he is. It's not something that he has. It's not a shell that he's living in. It's not something that one gets inside of. Everything about autism colors his perceptions, his every emotion, his every experience that he has in life. And as I said earlier, when I've met other autistic adults, there's a sense of pride in the differences that they have from other people that they interact with. And I think that those people were lucky that they were allowed to be who they were and didn't have that part of them stifled. When you allow somebody to um, flourish and grow and gain a sense of self-esteem because of every aspect of their life, 
I think you can see the potential that can grow out of that. And I think every parent wants to do that with their child anyway. They really want to nurture every opportunity for their child, and that's no different for autistic children. And uh, with a lot of people who are autistic, there are some similarities, but for the most part, if you've met one autistic person, you've met one autistic person. The spectrum is so broad that um, it's really difficult for me to put everybody with autism into one lump like that. When I uh, refer to uh, Gary, um, I prefer to use the term autistic adult because I don't view autism as a disability. The only disability that uh, Gary has is society and accessibility. I do uh, reject a lot of the awareness that I hear when autism is portrayed in a negative light and children are videotaped at their worst and if any child, any uh, neurotypical child was videotaped while they were having a meltdown, people would be upset about that. All of the time and money that is spent on frightening people, quite frankly, about autism could be better directed in finding ways to make our world a little more accessible for them rather than asking them to be the ones to make all the changes. That was Janet O'Donnell talking about embracing autism. Her son, Gary, is an autistic artist. You can find out more about his art and autism on his Facebook group. It's called Gary Art.